Hello, today we're going to talk about how to submit and interact with HMIS tickets within ClientTrack. First, let's review some examples of why you would need to submit an HMIS ticket. If you ever experience issues within HMIS, have a general HMIS question, or made a data entry mistake that needs correction, you would need to send in an HMIS help desk ticket through ClientTrack. You've heard us say a few times by now, you can always reach out to us at hmis at thn.org, and that is always true. But it's worth noting that the help desk tickets that are sent through ClientTrack are the most secure way of asking for help, especially when handling client data. So to send an HMIS ticket, you will need to click on the question mark button on the bottom left-hand corner of your screen. A pop-up box will appear, and we're going to focus on the right half of this box, so under Request Help. We have three options, Report an Issue, Ask a Question, and Make a Suggestion. All three of these buttons create the same form, and all three go to the same place, sending the HMIS Help Desk an email letting them know that you've reached out for help. So it doesn't matter which of these options you choose from when you need to send in a ticket. I'm going to exit this box for a moment to bring us back to my client's dashboard. It's important that you click on the help question mark when you're on the page that you're experiencing issues on. This gives the HMIS help desk team a lot of that debug information that we'll need in order to triage and eventually solve the issue that you're experiencing. For example, if you need to merge a client, it's helpful that you start on the client's dashboard when you click on the help button. Also, if you need help with a report, by clicking that help button while you're on that page, it will give us the parameters that you used on that report, which report that you're using, and what the issue was. So we'll go back and click the question mark. Once you are here and you click on one of the three options on the right side, you'll notice that another pop-up box will appear. This one looks like an email template. So even if we get that debug information that I was speaking about earlier, it's still very important that you include all relevant information here about the issue you're experiencing in this ticket. That means including any relevant client ID numbers or any details about the issue you're experiencing or the question you have. So I'm going to title this test ticket. And then in the body, this is where I'll write a brief description of the issue we're experiencing. You'll be asked to put your contact information at the bottom, and this is really just so that we can reach out to you quickly if we ever need any extra information in order to resolve your ticket. And if you so choose, you can click on this Notify Additional People button. It will ask for that person's information. And if you decide not to include any additional people, you can always click on the X and those fields will go away. So once you have all the information entered that you need in this ticket, you can click Submit. You'll get a notification that your ticket has been submitted. And if you head over to your email, you'll see that you have received an email that looks like this. It has your ticket number listed here in the title. You'll also see that it says that your issue has been submitted to your local administrator and given this specific ID number. So you're all set now. It can take up to 24 hours and sometimes in rare circumstances, it may take longer for a member of the help desk team to begin working to resolve the issue in your ticket. To follow along the process of your ticket, we'll head back to our HMIS account. I'm going to go ahead and go to my home workspace by clicking the client track icon on the top left corner. I'll need to toggle the menu. Under My Client Track, you'll see an option for My Submitted Issues here at the bottom. Simply find the one that you're looking for. They're typically in order by date, so you'll see my most recent ticket is here at the top. I'll click this button that says Edit slash View Issue. I'll see the message that I submitted here at the top, and if I need to add any more information, I can click on the New Note button and type in that additional information here. You'll see that I have a few options at the bottom when you're ready to save your note and send it to the HMIS Help Desk. The only option you as the user should ever really select is the Save the Note option at the bottom. This is going to send the HMIS team another email letting us know that you've added more information to the ticket. 
There is no need to select the Save and Update Status option. So one more time, the only option HMIS users should be using here is Save the Note. If you needed to add an attachment, like a screenshot to the ticket, you can select the plus button next to Attachments. This will allow you to choose a file to add. At this point, all we can do is wait for the HMIS help desk to triage my ticket and respond. So what does it look like when the HMIS help desk does respond to your ticket? You're going to get an email that looks like this at the email address you supplied when you filled out the ticket. You'll notice right away that there's no actual response in the email. It's just a notification that you have a response waiting for you in HMIS. This email says that a new note has been entered regarding your ticket. It's also possible that you might receive an email that looks like this instead. This email is letting you know that the ticket has been assigned to you. If you were to get an email that says a new note has been entered into your ticket or that the ticket has been assigned to you, they essentially mean the same thing. It means that the HMIS help desk has responded and it's time to go back into HMIS to check on your ticket. So once you're logged back into HMIS, head to the home workspace and click on the My Submitted Issues. To find our ticket, be sure to look at the ticket ID if necessary. We'll click on Edit slash View Issue. And we can now see that the HMIS help desk has responded to us and we can give them the information that they are requesting. Again, if we need to send them another message to follow up with additional information, or we simply want to say thank you for your help, you'd click on the new note, type in your message, and then remember, we would click on this bottom option, save the note. Once the issue is resolved, the HMIS help desk member will close the ticket and you might get yet another email letting you know that the ticket has been fixed or verified. This lets you know that the HMIS team member has closed the ticket and as the email says, you can verify that the issue has been resolved to your satisfaction. If you have any more questions about how to submit or interact with HMIS tickets, please email us at hmis@thn.org. Thanks for watching.